Uh, it's hard to argue with that live shot, to be honest with you. I mean, it really does look like a truck. Yeah. Let's get down there and dive. Oh my gosh, look at that. You can see Adam dropping down on the car right now on his live sonar. That is so cool. Doug. My name is Jeremy and today we are out here in Lake Lanier, Georgia to search for a missing truck that a fisherman found. This happens from time to time. We get viewers who write us messages saying that they think they found something in the lake or the river and they want us to check it out. And in this case, somebody was out fishing. They have their sonar shot uh, and they sent it to us and this thing looks like a pickup truck. Now, we know exactly where the pickup truck is and uh, the only thing is we don't exactly know if it is a pickup truck. There are no access points that a pickup truck could be here. We don't know why this would be a pickup truck because there's just houses and there's a bridge. That's the only way this thing got in the water was this bridge. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna dive it. We're gonna see what it is. If this is a pickup truck, we're gonna see if it has a tag, pull it off, let the police know what we found, and we're gonna just generally make sure there's, you know, nobody inside it. But first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get this boat ready and we're gonna get in the water. So let's go do that right now. All right, we got the boat in the water. We're starting the search. Now we've already cleared the boat ramp that we put in on. You didn't miss anything. We didn't find anything. Uh, good place to dump a car, but no cars. So we're moving on with the search. And right now we're just checking around this park and by the road, make sure there's nothing out here. So with me always, Adam Brown, Adam Brown Adventures. So you've draw, you've drawed, drawed? Drewed. You've drew. You've drew the card of diving today. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dive. Druid? Unless it's like 100 feet. Drawed it. Drawed. Drew. I don't know the word. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I mean, the water's it's like, it's like mid, low 60s. You got your thermals. You got yeah. clarity. It'll be a fun dive. I just hope it's actually a vehicle and it's not like a boat dock well, or something. Picture, if you look at the picture, which you can probably throw it up here. It is a truck, man. It sure does look There's like no it. There's no way it's not a truck. Like, I, I don't know. There was that one time we went on a lake and it did kind of look like a vehicle, but this looks like a truck. It's kind of hard to deny. True. Very well, true. I don't know how deep it was. I have to look back at that picture. Um, I, don't I don't really want to dive 100 feet deep to a truck. I think it's 20, 30 feet. Honestly. But yeah, it should be fine. We still got to get over there. Yeah, we'll finish searching this area while we're while we're out goofing off. You know, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on the shore. We just saw a fish head that was stuck on a branch. It's on it's on Adam's channel. I didn't even film it, but it's it's pretty gruesome. You have to go check that out on his channel. But zoom in way over there. There's like a cooler. And up in the trees, you can't see it now. Man, it looked like a, a spider web, but it was something that looked like it was made by a dinosaur. I think it you was... should get closer over to it. Wanna go check it out? Get a closer look. Right, let's go look at it. Let's check that bridge out too. Yeah, we got a little closer. I don't think it's spider webs. Get in there a little closer, you can look. Crap, I can't see it now. Oh, there it is up there. It looks like some kind of, what does it look like? A net? A nest, a bird, I don't know. A bird habitat. It's, it's long not been used anymore, but I don't know. Man, the cool thing about this boat, dude, like, look at this. You can see the ground. It says two feet in the back. Actually, one foot now. Look at that. You can see the ground. And I can still uh, drive it around. Love it. Maybe someday I'll get a, gen a generation three of this model. This is like the first model of their boat. So, uh, yeah, but their like generation three boat is so nice. Maybe someday I'll show it to you. So we made it down here in this one section we were checking out before we go down to the truck location. See an old road right there at the dead end. You can see it. I don't know if you can see it on the sonar or the camera, but you can see it drive all the way in. Then we look over here on the sonar. You can see it right here. This over here is like the remains of the road. And uh, yeah, that's, that's that. No vehicles. It's kind of crazy though, when they flooded this lake. It's uh, they just they just left everything there. So here's like the remains of the road. I don't know what that is. Some kind of I don't know. Maybe like an old bridge. Maybe I don't know, man. I don't know. But we'll keep going. See what we can find. All right, we zip down here to where the a rough area of where this truck is supposed to be. I started scanning like way up from where I think he sent me the location. 
But uh, we're gonna check all this because heck, if there's one truck out here, there might be more that dude didn't see. So we'll check this out really good, see if we come across something. We're at 30 feet right now. We should be able to spot this. Wait, you shooting 100 feet? Yeah. I'm only shooting 80. It's a big tree we just went on. See that. All right, so I think we found what the viewer sent us, and uh, it's hit or miss what it could be. Now, we passed a sunken boat dock, and I was completely destroyed. I was like, man, I think that's what he saw. But Adam's optimism might have paid off. We got really close to the road, like 60 feet deep. I, it, there's either a truck or a, a pretty good-sized boat. But uh, you can see on the recording, we just passed over it, and it's... Uh, it, 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 you tell me, it's either a big boat that has a covered top like my, ours here, or it's a pickup truck. But we'll get the live scan going right now, the pan optics, and see what it looks like on the live sonar. Big ball of fish right below us. I think we're really close. There it is. Um. <laughs> That's exactly what he was seeing. That's the exact same picture we I saw. I can't tell if it's a truck or a boat, but it makes me think of a truck more than a boat based on the squareness. That does, yeah. I mean, God, it really does. Look along the... Uh, I don't see a motor on it. That's what makes me think not a... Let's go full screen. Oh, that's a truck. Look how square the back is. It's a truck, man. Look, you can see the wheel well inside of it. Unless it's like the motor fell inside of it. I just don't... It's, you know what? It's a, a truck. It's a truck or a boat, but that live skin looks just like a darn truck. I mean, you have the, the wheel well in there, squared. I don't know. It's hit or miss. Look how what? square is the back. Why don't we... Uh, a boat would be... That's a truck, man. Why don't you get that magnet going and see if we can snag it? Go down a little bit. Down, 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 down. And stay right there. Down, 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 down. All right, I'm on it. And it's metal. It's metal. That, it's a truck, dude. It's got to be a truck. They don't make steel. They don't make steel boats. No. <laughs> and let, well, no, aluminum one stick. Yeah. Nice. All right, we got the car marked with the buoy. See it right there. And uh, I mean, it's about 50, 60 feet deep. So it's gonna be an interesting dive. But the water is pretty clear, so he'll be able to see what he's doing. He's suiting up right now. Get a girl. All right, Adam's all suited up. We've drifted away, but we're gonna drive back over there and he's gonna dive it. And I'm gonna watch him on the sonar, the live scan, see if I can see him, just for giggles, What's if your anything. Bet? What's my bet? What percentage of a, do you think it's a truck? I mean, it looks like, I looked it up on Google. It looks like a 60s model GMC. I'll show you a picture. What, I'm, what I think it is, if it's a truck, this is what the truck is. I totally missed Adam getting off the boat, but let's go look at the live scan and see if we can see him going down to the truck. You can see him, he's going down about 10 feet now, and you can totally see, like you can see his flippers moving, you can see the bubbles going up to the surface. This live scan is so awesome. It's real time too, so like, it, and that is such a cool looking shot. You can actually tell that it's a diver in the water. And he's still descending, he's about 15 feet now. Right below him is the truck. That little dotted line right there is the rope that's attached to the truck. There's a lot of slack in it. That's why it's kind of drifting out of the way. Looks like he's reached the bottom of the lake. We're looking at about 45, 50 foot deep. Like I said, there's a lot of slack in the rope, so he's about, I don't know, five, 10 feet away from the truck right now but he's using the rope to guide him towards the truck. Yeah. It's the truck. Oh, dude, it's a wooden bed. 
Good morning. Look at that. What kind of truck is this? Looks like he is coming up. Uh, he's about 35 feet. He's coming up nice and slow. So we're going to move the boat out of the way and then once he surfaces we'll see what he's got. There he is. <laughs> so what would you find anyway? So it, obviously it's a vehicle. It's an old Chevy. That was the center cab or something? That was on the steering wheel. So oh, how driver's cool. Driver's side was down. Best part is, it's like a baby blue truck. And... Did it look like that? What well, magnet wasn't sticking, besides the fact that every piece of metal was just crumbling off. Uh, uh, the bed was wooden slats. Oh, how cool. And on the side, it said, Northern Georgia Nursery. Really? Yeah. Holy smokes. That's the truck's never coming out in one piece, dude. I touched the bed and it crumbled. It had a plate, but it's pieces. All I could get was the first number was like one for it's a Georgia plate. It said one. Oh. You couldn't like could you read the whole thing before you tried to pull it off or? I read what I could. It said one four. Well it's not like you'd come back to anything. <laughs> I, have, I have pieces of it. So Chevy. Did it look like that picture I showed you? Uh I have to look at the picture, but yeah, it's like it's like an old yeah old 60s. It had a shovel in the back. I wanted to pick up, but it's an old nursery, Northern Georgia nurse, nursery truck. Somebody's like, man, I'm done with this job. Oh. It was empty. No, there was nothing inside. How oh, cool! But I got. I mean, other. I just pulled this off the front. It was it was intact pretty well, but everything is cr crumbling. Yeah, that must have been down there for a long that's, time. That's an old truck. Dude. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we got Adam out of the water, and uh, I mean, it, I think was pretty dead on accurate in the 60s model truck. And you brought up, so. let's take a closer look at some of the parts you found. This, this, no joke, that's that's all that's left of the tag. Uh, but he probably got a better shot of it, at least underwater for a little bit. Got an old, uh, says T3 on it. Got this very old rear view mirror, side view mirror actually off the door. And this apparently came off of the steering wheel. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So I mean, the next step is we we can we can tell the cops about this. Ultimately, this thing has been down there for so long. We don't even know the tag number. We can just tell them we found a truck, give them the location. Uh, that's up in the air. We might want to come back ourselves and re remove it. He did get a really good look inside. There's nobody inside it. It wasn't even filled up with mud or nothing. It's like a time capsule, you said. Yeah, yeah. So we're confident that there's nobody in this vehicle. But uh, other than that, you know, hey, uh, I want to thank the viewer that sent us this information because we wouldn't have never known this truck was there without him. So by all means, if you guys are out fishing or you know where there's vehicles you want us to check out, just message me, email me, send me some stuff, and we'll go check it out. I mean, that's what we do. We like finding stuff and investigating and, and having a good time just scuba diving. But, but that's going to do it for today's video. I'm glad you guys watched. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until we meet again, my name is Jeremy. I will see you guys on the next video. Woo!